Okay, it's recording. All right, my name is Gerard Morin, and I'm in my lab, my living room, and uh, you've probably seen me before in the videos. And, and uh, I'm a gentleman that came from uh, Oregon, drive up here to play with my toys and get some a uh, some neat experiments. So what we're going to do, we're just going to walk through as before we're going to start it. So there's lots of wire here and lots of on the stand, but it's pretty simple. Uh, we start with two 18 volt battery again connect them series to a single little two speed switch it's just you know on off and with speed one speed two and then we move into a 24 volt DC uh, DC volt uh, it's a uh, 24 uh, the amperage I'm not too sure is very low amperage at more very high quality now you'll see banks with magnet on it the only reason I put that is it gave me an extra 20 some volts for free by putting magnet circuit, my motor spin faster. Now, those little transformers, step up, step on transformer. They're just stuck there, so they're not loose. It's just they're just stuck to to the, the magnet, so we have nothing fl flying around here. Now, the pump itself, we're turning this little uh, uh, magnet pump, literally magnet motor, and uh, with no brush. And what it does, it just produce a 150 volt maximum with nothing is on the load. Uh, amperage or wattage watt is almost imp impossible to read it. So we're going to connect that, as you see, to the low part of the step-up transformer, and then the second lead coming out of the transformer on the same side of the transformer, it will be hooked up to a bunch of AD light and two ceramic caps. And after that. We come back to here, the other side of the step-up transformer, on the upper side of the transformer, which is putting 300 volt, I put it and connect it directly to my larger high, high voltage transformer, step-up transformer. So this one will, is connected directly to this 1000 watt light bulb, high pressure sodium, which we're not, I'm not using the light bulb as a light, I'm using it as something to see the free electron going into the tube. The second side of the light bulb is hooked up to a spark gap, which you can adjust the spark inside. It's uh, very simple, you know, it's just a normal uh, motor, motor vehicle uh, unit you can buy, you know, to make a spark gap. And that's connected to the other output of my transformer. So that's just a little loop on a high voltage. You only go to the bulb, through the spark gap, and back into that transformer. Now, the sparks we connect is very simple I remove everything out of the floodlight LED floodlight the all 2 volt floodlight and it's 10 per per circuit all connect in series so it takes 20 volt to run that light 20 volt to run this light 20 volt to run that light it's all 20 volt all connect in series minus plus minus plus minus plus just like hooking up a bunch of batteries together to make more volt and as you can see it's all connected in series and it connected back to the caps to the two ceramic cap capacitor and we go back to this side to another small doubler it's a little bit smaller transformer but it does the same job as this one same voltage one and three and we feeding into the low end of trans uh, the high end of transformer and we closing the loop on the other side of the transformer by just putting a jumper between the two transformer and that goes back to the pump to the second leg of the pump so now that our, our power goes like this and to those goes through and back to the system and to the light bulb and this one here runs only this big transformer and and, and it runs this spark gap and the big bulb now I don't know if people it's, it's kind of it's lots of wire up here but we're going to do one step at a time, so I will disconnect the big transformer. So we're not running this here, and then we'll turn the machine on, and we'll see how much of those light will come up. That's literally, that's five flood light right now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to light up. That's almost uh, the 1300 lumen each, uh, three of them in those ones are 1150, so I'm pushing out over 6,000 6, lumen. So let's see how that turns out. 
as you can see, every one of them worked perfectly. And now we're going to see the voltage. I'm going to give you a reading of the voltage on that point of time what's happening. So we have 120 volts coming out, coming back to the pump after the, it's going through those lights. Now I'm going to disconnect the pump. Now we'll see the full amount of voltage when the pump is at nothing. 145 volts, right? 146 volts. Now I'm going to reconnect the system, right? So I'm burning 6,000 lumen and only cost me 20 some volts but I should be burning 100 volt there now we will connect the big transformer in the loop till we get this big one going in a spark gap because that is just lost current right now we're recuperating from this now we have the flow of electrons And let's see how much volt our pump is putting. 163. Now we have we're making more volt back to the pump than what the original pump does with no con nothing connect to it. Now where I'm getting all the extra electricity suddenly, I'm running 6,000 lumens. An experimental, so you can see a flow of electrons, a spur gap, a transformer which is run, you use about 30% of the juice to just to run itself. Another set of, another stepped up transformer, we use another 40% where you put in to go through, and a doubler here. Where I'm adding all this energy, and I'm getting more voltage into my pump than when I start with nothing connected to it. Now, if anybody can explain that thing, I mean, you know, the battery can't produce all that here. I don't care what you do. You cannot produce all this here. I mean, like, you know, we have limit here. But now I'm turning everything on, running, the light is on, everything is on, and believe me, the guy behind the camera is just is wondering what is happening here. But the biggest thing here, is why that I'm getting 160 volts back to my pump when I'm running all this thing here. When the true voltage in my pump, I'm going to disconnect the pump. See the true voltage in my output of my pump maximum output is 140, 344 volts. When I add all the load to my pump, I go up and I'm gaining. 20 volts. Now I'm running all that and I'm getting an extra 2 volts to throw away yet. So if it does not call free energy, I don't know how you call that. So if you have any answer what I'm doing, contact this gentleman who's behind the camera because it's just mind boggling.